In today's healthy inside and out, whether you feel anxious, sad, or stressed, it's important to find the right person to talk to. Joining us now is clinical psychologist, Dr. Doug Polster. Doctor, welcome to Bloom. Thanks for having me. So I have to say, you know, we talk about the silver linings of the pandemic, and definitely one of them is that it really opened the floodgates for people to get the help that they need, which is so important that mental health is doesn't have that stigma when we talk about it, but you have to find the right match. Absolutely. I think the last two years, the sort of unintended positives that came out of it was opening the doors that people understood to care about their mental health and start to look for help. Double-edged sword is it's still really hard to find and there's a lot of things out there to, to consider and look into, but it still makes it challenging. Yeah, and you know, for some people, they might think that getting the help they need is unattainable or they can't do it. But that is the other thing is that now you can have virtual visits so that you don't have to schedule time away from work or you don't have to try to squeeze onto someone's schedule. You can meet virtually. Is that still continue to be a popular trend? Absolutely. I think that's the second best thing, again, that came out of the pandemic in the mental health world is one, awareness and two, accessibility. Right? And I think instead of an appointment taking you three hours, you know, mm -hmm. an hour to get there, an hour session, an hour to get home, now it takes, you know, 45 minutes to an hour, comfort of your own home, you can just log in, and it removes a lot of the anxieties of just going to an office, sitting in a waiting room. So it makes it much more accessible for people. So how do you find the right match? That is one of the hardest questions that people <laughs> always ask me. And I think it starts with yourself. So I think it, look in the mirror, write down two or three things that you're looking to improve upon, whether it's relationships, anxiety, depression, and at least now you understand what you're looking for. And then step two is start making educated Google searches, right? Not just stabbing in the dark, but actually looking for people that might have specialties or expertise in what you're looking for. Yeah, because you'd be surprised when you do these searches, a lot of therapists will put down everything that they specialize in and you can really do a deep dive before you start even trying to make those connections. So what's the best avenue to find the therapist? So as hard as it is, it's to make that outreach call. Okay. Right, that first step to talk to somebody, to basically interview the therapist, to see, based on this laundry list of expertise you have listed on your website, what really is your passion in terms of treatment and does that match my needs? It's a hard step to make, but I think it's really important to take that first step forward and reach out. And you talk about the four things that someone should know about the therapist before they have that initial meeting. What are those? Their specialty. Right? Okay. So I know we talked about the laundry list, but most people have some spe sort of specialization. So understand that, right? Understand what their treatment looks like. Um, the third thing would be, are they evidence-based? And that's basically a fancy way of saying, does the American Psychological Association put their stamp of approval on that treatment modality? So s cognitive behavioral therapy is evidence-based for anxiety. So simply put, People have probably been to therapy before and treaded water and not really made any progress. Mm -hmm. And so when you have an evidence-based approach that's designed to help you, to teach you to swim, to find the land, put your feet on the ground, feel grounded, feel more like yourself. Um, and I think that's the most important part. And the last piece is just comfortability. Do you enjoy talking to this person? Do you feel like you can open up, be vulnerable, and that they have your best interest? If you've got those four things, and you're really set up for success. That is so helpful. And I know just listening to you will take kind of the daunting task of trying to find a therapist, a way for a lot of folks, because, you know, people need help now more than ever. So we certainly appreciate you joining us on Bloom to tell us how to find it. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And to read more about Dr. Polster, just head to WFLA.com slash Bloom.